All right, right now you're watching video E4.P2-20, which is the Moving Masses Activity 16. Uh, with the learning target for this uh, objective in learning uh, is E4.P2F, describe the characteristics and movement uh, across North America of the major air masses and the jet stream. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh, different air masses, just like the title of this activity says. All right. So, we're going to start off with the background information for this actual activity, which is located right here, moving masses. Uh, the background information is simply going to talk about what an air mass is and what a front is, which again, at this point in time, uh, should just be a little bit of review, more than brand new information. Uh, but again, just a short little uh, brief introduction uh, to those terms, as well as uh, some background information about both of those terms. After uh, you wrap up reading the background information, uh, I've created a couple pre-lab questions for you in the space below and you will see that there are three on the front page here and then there is one more on the following page where you're going to be asked to draw uh, some actual symbols that go along with it including the correct colors. Once you've wrapped up the actual pre-lab information uh, I'm going to have you <coughs> begin by reading through the actual procedures as you can see them right here. Read through them the first time, uh, again, just to get a sense as to what you're going to be doing, and also along with that, the materials that you're going to need in order to complete this lab, as it says right here. Scissors, blue crayon, tape and or glue, and then uh, paper or uh, thin cardboard, you know, for you to cut on. Um, but nonetheless, paper will be perfectly fine uh, for in order to do this. So what you'll do is you'll read through the procedures to get a sense as to what you're going to be doing. Uh, the BLM... 16.1 is located on the following page right here 178 uh, so here's BLM 16.1 uh, for you to use and this will be the portion which you'll be cutting out uh, to perform the actual moving scale talking about how fronts actually travel and move uh, and then along with that you will see the scale which is located right here on this page to give you a perspective about how far about 100 miles is when looking at the actual scale uh, so keeping that in mind while uh, you're actually completing the activity will be very important because uh, as you move it, as you can see in this diagram right here, figure 16.2, as you move it, that scale is going to be very important to give you a perspective about how far things like air masses, example, uh, will move uh, over the course of time. All right, and for some of you, you may believe that they move actually faster than they do or vice versa, you may believe that they move slower than they actually do. Once you've read through those, uh, the procedures, you can go ahead, go ahead and grab the lab materials and then begin by reading the procedures and completing the lab. Once you've performed the cutout, once you've actually done the procedure part, uh, then you'll be asked to answer the conclusion and questions, which are located right here on page 177. The space that's provided on 177 should be plenty enough for you to answer the actual questions, uh, one through five, in the space right here. If you do not have enough space, Feel free to grab a sheet of paper of your own and uh, write the answers uh, or anything else that you may need to include as well. All right. So that sums up uh, the activity uh, for moving air masses. Uh, should you have any questions, come find myself or uh, Mr. Fusek.